with okay. sophomore offensive lineman Terrence Boyd, and we have to call you an offensive lineman because it could be guard, it could be tackle. Yeah. This year right now it's tackle. Uh, you're playing tackle for the first time in college. Talk about the adjustment that you've had to make going outside. Um, the, adjust, the biggest adjustment is, you know, at tackle you're dealing with better athletes. You know, you're dealing with guys that's like 220, 230, real jiggly guys. So, you know, it's just me, you know, taking better steps and stuff like that so I don't get on my toes, you know, because these guys are quicker, you know. I'm used to dealing with 300 pounders and I got to deal with 220, 230 guys. So it's a difference, but I could adjust to it. And you've had the unfortunate perspective of watching much of this season before you mm -hmm. were able to get back out on the field. Mm -hmm. So you've watched this offense for weeks and weeks and weeks. What's it now like being part of that? Um, it's a lot better. I mean, I hate watching. You know, it used to kill me watching games, you know. So it feels a lot better that I get to actually cause an effect on the game now, you know. So it's fun. I mean, I love football. It's fun playing. I love helping my team to win. What do you see as the strengths of this offense coming into the last four games of the season, the last month of the season? Um, I think one of the biggest things our offense is that we've been pretty even. I would say like we could throw the ball, we could run the ball, we could run inside, we could run outside. You know, we've had a lot of strength doing have, have being a complete offense. So that's one of the things I've liked about our offense, especially with the play calling tool, let us kind of show our more complete style. You know, not really one sided. Saturday after Saturday evening, actually. Six o'clock kick in Turfman Stadium against McNeese. You mm -hmm. played in the McNeese game last year. You understand the rivalry. Mm -hmm. Talk about the importance and intensity of this game. Um, it's going to be a very intense game. You know, they're a great team. You know, they're going to play a lot of intensity, and we're going to play a lot of intensity. You know, um, there's a lot of history going into this game. You know, it's an interstate rivalry and all that other stuff. So we're going to bring our A game, and we know they are. So it's going to be a fun game. Yeah. All right, Terrence, thank you. We're with safety Chase Collins, the Demons defense, getting ready to take on a very powerful McNeese offense Saturday evening at 6 in Turpin City. Chase, let's talk about the Purple Swarm defense. Until this last Saturday's game at Central Arkansas, you guys had really been very, very successful at shutting down other offenses. Had some personnel issues Saturday and ran into a very good, powerful running game from Central Arkansas. What was the difference for the Demons last Saturday? Well, last Saturday we have to like overcome a lot of injuries and things. At the beginning of the season, we had a very, very like strong defense, like you said, and we had a lot of depth at a lot of positions. Well, as the season's gone on, we've had to deal with um, some injuries, some very, very important injuries, if you had to ask me, that um, maybe we weren't really expecting. So that's one of the biggest things we had to try and overcome, and maybe this week we'll be better prepared. All right, you guys um, not knowing at this stage of the game, much about McNeese schematically, but you know a lot about McNeese from a rivalry standpoint, from watching what's going on all the year long. They've got a dynamic uh, dual threat quarterback. Uh, they've got a powerful running game. Uh, so what can you guys do as a purpose one defense to try to contain that? Um, just play with speed. That is one thing our defense has always had is a lot of speed. And as long as we like maximize our abilities to run to the ball and not take any plays off, then we'll be okay. You're a guy who's from Natchitoches, uh, one of several Natchitoches Central guys on this football team. You've played in the stadium pretty much all your life. What will it mean for this team to come into a big game Saturday evening playing at home in Turpin Stadium? Home games are always awesome. I mean, I grew up here. I've played here my whole life, and it's just a different atmosphere. Like, you're more comfortable. There's no stress. There's no outside stress. and. This McNeese rivalry is a big game for us because I've had I have family that goes to McNeese and things like that, so I'll get texts from them throughout the week, but it's just less stressful being home for sure. So when you get a text from folks who you know and love on the McNeese side, do you text back? Oh yeah. <laughs> There's definitely some communication back and forth throughout the week. <laughs> You're positively encouraging the McNeese folks to come to the game and watch the Demons win, right? Yes. <laughs> okay. Sounds like a good message to me. Thanks, Chase.